Greetings to everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to make this presentation. I am Dr. Francis Kumi, and I'm a senior lecturer from the University of Cape Coast Department of Agricultural Engineering. My presentation title is Performance Characteristics of Self-Regulating Low-Energy Clay-Based Irrigation System in Different Soil Types. The system is quite, it has a very long name, so we I prefer to call it Snakey system, irrigation system. Um, so this is it. The Snakey system is like this, is a clay system with a tube and a pipe connecting it and it wet it as the water passes through. So I'll like my presentation, introduction, materials and method, results and then conclusion. So in terms of the introduction, I'll say that technology for irrigation is very important because it accounts for a significant portion of the water that is used in agriculture. Now, you agree with me that, you know, in the olden days when our grandmothers and our grandfathers were using the cooling system, they call it cooling pot, they put water in the system and then it's able to cool the water so we are able to drink it. But overnight, we realized that the, the hole around the pot, it gets wet. So that is the, the principle behind the whole clay based irrigation system. Now, Marsha et al. tested this technology in Bulgaria and realized that it is dependent on the, the nature of the soil, the type of soil affected. So the sandy nature affected it in the field. So the aim, was, the aim of this work was to evaluate the effect of the soil type on the performance of the Slecky system. The work was done in the University of Cape Coast, AG Carson uh, Technology Center, and we made use of materials like a bucket, water tank, tensiometer, P holes, clay tubes, and others. The experimental design was completely randomized design, and we had treatment of three soil types, pure clay, pure loam, and pure sand, replicated nine times, so we have 27 samples. Now, so this is how the setup is. This is pure clay, this is pure sand, this is pure loam. And then we had randomization, so this is how the setup is. This is a tensiometer that is being used. Now, so we tested the drainage porosity, the hydraulic conductivity, and the CPU drainage of the different types of soil. We realized that sandy soil, as is expected, had a higher drainage porosity, had the highest hydraulic conductivity, and then had the higher CPU drainage and the clay had a loads. Now, the wetting parameter, when you put the system, the clay system in the different types of soil, we realize that the wetting pattern of the loam is the, it stands out clearly. And then the others, you know, sometimes it is the, the sand, but the clay overtakes it a little bit as long as you continue with that experiment. So you realize that, um, so this is, that's, and then you, from the wetting pattern, look at it. As you see, the loam soil clearly has a, low, a highest, you know, wetting pattern. And then, so that is how we came by that. And we measured that. And then for the tensiometer reading, the loam also recorded the highest. Now, the conclusion is that there are some significant differences among the different types of soils with this technology and uh, in terms of seepage drainage and all that. In terms of hydraulic conductive drainage process seepage drainage, it was the highest we had was in so sandy soil. On the other hand, the wetting parameter was better in the loamy soil. So this suggests that in the loamy soil, it would be better when you want it to seep and get into the, to the root zone of the disease. It's better. So this is the initial uh, result that we have. We'll continue to do more tests and probably share our results with you all. Thank you very much for the audience.